Let's cover a few basic finger picking techniques. It's not really finger picking, but I just, I don't know what you call them. You're using your fingers and they're not that pick pickety pick pick thing. It's like this, right? You're doing like a hit with your thumb and a pluck with your, with these things here. So it's like bang, dunk, bang, dunk, bang, dunk. So I'll play it. Sounds a lot like a piano, it's like you're playing them all at once. Instead of the hear the, the strum of the pick, it smooths it out. Sounds cool with um, seventh chords, but if I play them just as it opens. So it's just plucking them all. So you're hitting one with your thumb. So if we're doing an A bar chord, you'd be hitting that A note with your thumb, and then you'd be plucking the other three, so the fifth, fourth, and third string. It's just pulling them up. So, so you can either go, we can pl pluck them all together. I'll show you that chord I was playing it with. It's called an A minor seventh. Okay, that's on the fifth fret, and this one lays down across the rest of the strings, and you're not hearing that A, a string. But in this case, it wouldn't matter if you did. But so that's a movable one. You can go up to B, A, G, it's a minor 7. Then you can play your ninth, your D ninth, right? This is a ninth chord. Looks like you can finger it like that. So it's that one there, that one there. Okay, like you were playing a C there. And these two just fall in. You're not playing that bottom E, so those two fall in like so. Or you can I've seen people play it like this. I just prefer that. You can also do it by picking and using your other fingers as the pluckers. So if you don't, if you're not holding your pick, right, just whack him up the top there somewhere. And you're just using these. It's a good idea to do this. If you go and do a guitar shop or something, you want to buy a new guitar and don't have a pick on you, at least you can. And you can give it a town boy. Just hitting down like that. I don't know how technical this is, but I reckon it sounds good. So it's like either just pulling them all off, so you're getting that soft sort of a chord sound, 
before you go and boom, kick. Okay, that's one way to use your, your uh, fingers. Now another way, which is this really cool little thing, What you're doing using your thumb and that third finger, and you're just grabbing the two E's and pick it, plucking them, and you're holding them with that finger and that one there. See, and you're just getting so it's pluck, pluck. And these, these other two. They're just going the strings there. So that's some right hand stuff. Now that little tune, we'll do it up here. Starts off with the G. So it's ding 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 ding. That's the first bit. Right. Take it down to the second fret, the F sharp. Same thing. Then up to the fifth. That bit is. Then come back. the seventh, back to the fifth, then it does this little jump thing. Then it starts again. Okay, so that's another little technique you can do, just playing those dingle, dingle, dingle ones. I don't even know what you call them. Okay, how's he got that? A groovy, a groovy blues thing, and then you got the...
quite a cool little thing to get going. But basically you're doing it from F sharp to G to A to B to C sharp to D. And it ends on the D. Okay? Then the notes you can use. You probably make up your own little rhythms out of that little that little uh, little piece. Um, so what else have I got for you? What other little tricky sort of things can we do? I know one. How about this one? Let's have a stop and I'll get to it, eh?